could your smartwatch be the key to earlier detection of COVID-19? News 8's Marcella Lee tells us about some new research being done to see if it's possible. Your smartwatch may be smart enough to tell you it's time to get a COVID test. Researchers at Purdue University are analyzing data to see if certain changes in a person's heart rate or respiration rate could be an early sign that someone who was otherwise asymptomatic should get tested for the coronavirus. A lot of people wear a fit tracker or smartwatch to count their steps. So far, so good. Only almost a mile in. I use it every day. I'm a data geek. But what if the smartwatch that tracks your health... It's like seeing how many steps I get, how much activity I'm doing per day. ...could also sense when you're getting sick. If you could have your watch tell you, hey, you might be coming down with the flu, that might help you identify that earlier as well to stay home and we can limit the spread of that. In a pandemic, that could be a game changer. Researchers at Purdue University are studying whether biometric data on a smartwatch could be used to accurately detect the early signs of COVID-19. There's a suggestion that uh, heart rate and respiration rate can actually predict viral infections before you start to see fevers or other symptoms. This won't replace a diagnostic. You will still need to get tested. But the idea is that it could tell you earlier on in the process that you may be having some kind of viral infection and you should get tested earlier. In the Purdue study, 100 people of all ages and genders are getting smartwatches and chest sensors to wear for five days. Their data then gets sent remotely to a digital health technology company for analysis. The hope is that you'll get a warning right from your wrist telling you... You might not be healthy right now. You should go get a test or maybe think about working from home for the next few days. Potentially slowing the spread of COVID-19. Right now, the researchers are using Purdue students, staff, and faculty who signed up to participate. But they plan to eventually expand the study to include people considered at high risk of contracting the coronavirus.